When I think about ODST, I think about the more grounded approach to the universe and the noir aesthetic. With your initial time as the rookie being a masterclass for anyone wishing to create atmosphere, you jump into a world that's dark and dangerous, with your squadron gone and only the Covenant around you. In order to make this aesthetic work, the city had to feel desecrated. New Mombasa is littered with abandoned cars, bodies on floors, and burning buildings in the background, clearly showing the end results of an invasion. This dread is aided by the lighting. The city is dark, with only light emitting from lampposts and advertising screens. These small periods of light feel rich and warm, acting as a beacon from the consuming darkness. Entering buildings force you into complete shadow, with only flickering lights acting as a source of vision. Blood is on the floors, and its claustrophobic nature adds a sense of tension to traversal. The environment is used as a way to convey the damage the Covenant has caused, and they actually feel like a threat, not just some inconvenience that can be dealt with easily. There's a pressure each time you hear Covenant ships flying above you, or brutes commanding their squad. As the Halo games progressed, the Master Chief became more and more of an unstoppable force, almost godlike in its capability. But Bungie wants to take a different approach, and this can be seen by the reintroduction of health and the removal of dual wielding. Bringing back the health was something that was born out of a discussion about how can we add long-term level of tension to the game. They wanted you to feel vulnerable, with even a mild fall being enough to force you to search for help. <clears throat> you have to be cautious, as damage can quickly take a toll, with that weakness being reminded by the constant beeping from your UI. You aren't an unstoppable super soldier, you're just a lone man trying to survive and figure out what the hell happened. That vulnerability can be seen in the iconic drop pod scene. The rookie's lack of control, as you can only witness as events go horribly wrong. The music plays into this aesthetic as well. There are no bombastic and triumphant tunes, just slow and ominous scores to intensify the emotions invoked by the scenery. The score that Marty wrote really lent itself to both that film noir feeling and that feeling of loneliness that you have in the hub. Marty O'Donnell's approach here was to emphasize the loneliness of the rookie, with somber pieces that heavily contrast to the feel of the previous games. There's often a trend in video games to make the story about these end of the world scenarios, where the protagonist is the most important person in the universe. But less significant stories can become much more meaningful when paired with a world and atmosphere that is deeply impactful. So next time you wonder what can make a game memorable, just remember it's not just gameplay, but also atmosphere and aesthetic. We only captured one. It's very delicate. Don't worry. I know what the aliens like. 